Good morning, folks. We're going to quickly blast through some key science releases here today and then come back in a few hours to interrupt the climate series for a throwback one to catastrophe, the galactic magnetic field and galactic current sheet. But right now we're at spaceweathernews.com where one bright active region is ready to cross center heliographic longitudes while the others depart. Coronal holes are now the dominant feature on the disk and their solar wind stream should be about 36 to 48 hours away. Right now, however, the solar wind is calm, calming further. As plasma speed drops, geomagnetic conditions hit the snooze button and go back to sleep. From geomagnetic to geoelectric, that storm system we went over yesterday kept drawing from the gulf to meet that converging wind flow out of the north and it was another day like the last. Tornadoes, hundreds of thousands without power now, at least eight confirmed dead. We'll go ahead and show how that system kept the lightning train right on chugging from the previous day. It is finally waning back this morning as the system is stretched and meets a disruption from the Appalachians. From lightning to the grander global electric circuit, folks, I'm going to put all the climate series video down for you below to check just so you can be in the proper understanding and frame of mind to realize the importance of an 18% shift in joule heating of the upper atmosphere, depending simply on how they choose to work with the data. What happens when they find out that goes for the entire atmosphere? It is indeed the contention that the current zero effect whatsoever that electricity is said to have on temperature in the atmosphere is something of an error in the models, especially because those penetrating electric fields can last much longer than expected. How about up to an entire day or more? The hang time of a photon in the atmosphere before absorption or reflection is in the nanosecond range. These fields are lasting 100,000 seconds or more and building upon themselves. Okay, well, tonight's special video is galactic, so I suppose we should jump out for some space news. We are zooming in here on one of the brightest globular clusters, Omega Centauri. The excess gamma signature from its core was one of the last remaining hopes for a dark matter observation nearby. Nope, just millisecond pulsars. Imagine your field of study is still searching for this magic particle you can't find, and you're so twisted up in your theories that one of your last remaining hopes gets dashed, not by dust or plasma, but by gigantic spinning objects. That's a bad day. These have astrophysical jets, of course, cosmic jets, and we have an outstanding next-level look at how electric currents and magnetic fields dominate the jet processes. Now, even the toroidal contribution to the inflow of material is said to be magnetic rather than gravitationally chaotic. Before the sweeping changes to galactic magnetism, the jets were thought to be purely a function of that gravity and spin and chaos. That's a bigger whoops. And this is going to be a key jumping point for tonight's video. The accretion and gravity suspects do need to be released from their cells as we've got the correct culprits, electric currents and magnetic fields, and handcuffs at the moment. More on that tonight. Last but not least, oh come on now. Folks, the title, the abstract, it's like plasma cosmology wearing a bad disguise. In fact, the subject of the paper was so good and the title so atrociously constructed that I had to do something about it last night on Twitter. Astrophysical Journal Letters, don't worry, it's cool, I fixed it for you. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, click the bell, and come back for tonight's special video. Be sure to catch up on the other series videos as well. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.